So not too long ago, I told a story in Mesra, where I tell stories, and it was um, based on a journey between Amsterdam and Schiphol in, in the train. Um, very loosely based, because w what happened was I quarreled with somebody about the armrest, but in the end we just started laughing and thinking, how can two grown-ups be squabbling about who should, whose arm should be on the armrest? And uh, the story began with this whole thing of um, whenever a train comes in, people just start hustling along the platform. So the train comes in, you just see people making all their various moves to, to get on first. And it does become quite a battle. So the story was really about uh, this alter ego of mine who was one of the top five in the Netherlands um, when it came to getting on the train first. So there's that. So this is an example of a story that really is built out of exaggerations of things that do happen. One, I don't like the hustle when the train comes in, but people seem to love it. And you have to, I found a way of doing things. However, there is a part of it that I, I, I'm probably too old to do this, but I still do it. I love blocking people who are trying to be sneaky. It, there's nothing that gives me more joy than somebody is trying to be really sneaky and you just, you just get them. And my favorite one is, uh, the you have people it's the ones who try and come in on the inside so i i don't know what it is it's just how we are some people can't wait they have to get on before everyone else and they're very very sort of slippery about how they do it so you have these ones they they just you see them sort of meandering and you know that the minute they realize where the door is they just zoom through on the inside and get in and that just annoys me. It shouldn't annoy me, but it does. You know, I don't know how you feel about it, but it, it just works on my nerves. So, of course, whenever I'm aware of somebody doing such a thing, I have this very gentle move that I make to one side, and it just blocks the path. And there you hear this oh, tutting and grunting like you've blocked their path. And it's maybe it's pathetic. I don't know, but it does give me joy. It's non-violent. It doesn't cost a penny to do this. Um, I suggest maybe you have your own moves to block people. Nothing physical, but just quiet moves. You know, let them know that you are aware of what they are up to. That's my advice on uh, that one. Or I wouldn't say advice, but I mean, you know, give it a go. Uh, you may discover something about yourself that you didn't know previously. Um, and in the meantime, to those who continue to hustle, I say, why? Why do you do that?